Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd do a my top 10 tips for 2018. These are the tips I believe that will help you get through this year successfully, not just to start well, but to finish well as well. So without further ado, let's get started with the video. So my first tip is watch less TV. I know it sounds like a cliche, but it's really important. What you spend your time doing, what you spend your time um, concentrated on, it becomes a part of you whether you like it or not. So if you spend most of your time watching, I don't know, trash TV, unfortunately, that becomes you as well. If you spend five hours a day, six hours a day just watching TV that's not edifying, does not help you in any way, it's going to become you as well. So I would advise watch less TV. I mean, if you want to, watch more educational TV. There's so many great shows that teaches you. If you're not a great fan of like reading books, which is an amazing thing, you can watch shows um, that teach you lots of things, like teaching you new skills, teaching you hobbies, um, or just, in, just gives you like knowledge about things in life. There's so much out there to learn, and watching TV like, I don't know, Real Housewives of Atlanta is not gonna help your future. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with spending two hours, one hour watching it, but if you're binge watching, constantly that's all you want to, that's all you're doing it's not benefiting you in any way shape or form so watch less tv my second tip is to stay in touch with family and friends i know it sounds weird but in this world we live in we're constantly on our phones constantly on the internet we're so out of touch and we don't realize what we're doing so i would advise in this year and every year spend more time with your loved ones spend more time with your family members you never know when you're going to see them next god forbid anything bad happens to them you don't want to be saying i wish i spent more time with them i wish i um saw them more no so spend more time with your loved ones that's really and truly what's important in life not internet not social media not getting the most likes on instagram but spending time with the ones you care about do that, it's precious, it's the greatest thing on earth, your loved ones and family. So my third tip is get rid of toxic friends. I know everyone's heard of that, I know it's a cliche, but it is so important. Friends who do not help you in life, friends who do not aid you in going further, friends who do not have any ambition or have no drive or just want to settle at being um, average, Honestly, if you have plans to be great in life, if you have plans to excel, to be higher than your pe um, peers, and not in a way of like earning more money, but just to do great in life, you need to have like-minded people around you. The saying goes, show me your friends and I'll show you who you are. And it is so true. It's very rare to meet a person who is doing well in life and they're not surrounded by other great people. It is so rare. So I would advise if you want to do a great in life, you need to surround yourself with people who are like-minded. And if you do feel like you've got friends in your life that are dragging you down, just in terms of you want to do something, let's say you want to start a YouTube channel, and they're like, no, don't start that. Everyone's doing it. They're bringing you down. They're not actually aiding you or helping you. Then you need to get rid of people like that who are stopping you from advancing in life. Or let's say you want to go for a job, like a promotion or like a new position that's higher. And they're saying, well, maybe you should wait. Or are you qualified? Or question you and question your ability. And constantly doing that never aiding you, never there when you just need them in general in life. Let's say you need a shoulder to cry on, to lean on, and you can never find them. You need to get rid of them. So get rid of toxic friends in 2018 and every year. So my fourth tip is setting goals. Goal setting is something that everyone does. I don't think you should just do it at the start of the year. I think you should do them constantly. But the start of the year is a great, way, um, great time to do them if you're going to do them. So setting goals is my fourth tip not just setting goals and forget about them and at the end of the day you realise, oh snap, I haven't done any of the things I've set out to do. No, setting goals and making sure you're accountable. Whether you check on yourself weekly, monthly, every three months, that's up to you, but making sure you're accountable. So write them down, make them plain and go back to them weekly. That's personally what I would do. Make sure, okay, have I done what I need to do this week to achieve that? Or am I helping myself to achieve this goal? If you haven't done that, then retract, look at what you need to do, go back on yourself, reflect. Setting goals is so important. If you want to achieve anything in life, you have to set goals. Companies, business, they set objectives, they set goals. It is something that is needed and you have to constantly reflect on yourself to make sure you're doing it. If you don't keep yourself accountable, no one else will. If you want to achieve greatness, you have to set goals. You have to make yourself accountable to set goals. So my fifth tip is exercise. <gasps> exercise, I know it's scary for some people, but exercising, 
is so important. Um, being healthy, if you want to achieve greatness in life, you need to be healthy, you need to exercise, you need to keep active. If you um, stop working out, if you stop um, keeping your body active, guess what, it's dying. Your body's dying every day, but also combat that and keep healthy. Exercise is what we do to um, keep young, keep um, limber, to keep feeble. So keep exercising, train your body, make it stronger. If you don't, you're just dying, becoming a weak and weaker. But if you exercise, you're enforcing your body to become stronger. So exercise is a great thing and make sure you incorporate it this year and every year. So my number six tip is drink water. It's in addition to obviously exercising. There's no point of exercising if you're not drinking lots of water. Your body's made up around 70, 80% of water. So drinking water is so important. Like I cannot stress that enough. I started drinking water like constantly, maybe five years ago. And it's the best thing that's ever happened to me. My skin is clear. Um, I'm more um, active in the morning. I have more energy. I hardly drink like sodas and juices. Not that there's anything wrong with them. Like everything in moderation is completely fine. I'm not one of those people that go cold turkey, except for alcohol. I personally don't drink any alcohol. But yeah, drink lots of water. That is like a big thing. If you're if you're exercising and you're drinking many sugary sugary drinks, pop, soda, you're not helping yourself at all. Soda and fizzy drinks and juice even have so many calories. And if you can cut down those calories, you'll see such a difference in your body, weight wise, in your skin. Water flushes out so many toxins. So in the beginning, if you start drinking lots of water, you might start re realizing why do I have so many spots? Well, that's because the water is flushing out all those toxins in your body. So drink lots of water. So my seventh tip is eat healthy. It's all along the lines of, you know, exercising, drinking water, all about world health and well-being. But yeah, eat healthy. If you do not, if you do not eat healthy and you exercise, guess what? You're doing nothing for your body. There's a saying that it's 20% gym and 80% diet. And I believe that so much. I can literally go a month without exercising, but if I continue to eat right, I will look exactly the same and stay fit. Eating healthy is such an important thing and it's and I'm still working on it today. Like it's not a thing that happens overnight. You have to train yourself into getting into the new healthy eating habits. It's not about going on a diet for six weeks or three weeks shred or six weeks transformation. No, it's about changing your eating habits forever, becoming a healthier person in the terms of the foods you choose to eat. So exercising is great, but it needs to be accompanied by great eating habits. So eat lots of vegetables lots of fruits lots of fibrous foods lots of um, foods from the earth like um like rice and beans just great foods that will actually help you when you exercise and give you energy but like i said everything in moderation so if you want to have like a chocolate bar or biscuit or crisp or whatever once in a while that's absolutely fine you're not going to die but eating healthy is the basis for being um healthy there's no point in just exercising and you're not eating healthy, you will not, you will not see any results unless you're someone's got fast metabolism, that's great for you. But eating healthy is important because you want your internal to be just as great as your external. So yeah, eat healthy. So my eighth tip is sleep early and wake up early. The saying is the early bird catches the worm and it's so true. I am speaking to myself with this one. It is so important to sleep early because you can actually wake up early and start your day. I feel like if I wake up late, I've wasted most of my day. And then my mood for the rest of the day is quite sluggish. I feel like I just wanna chill, not do much, not get on with work. But no, once I start early, I feel like I've conquered the day. I feel like I've grabbed the day and I can do so much more in it. I plan out my day with my planner, which I've shown you in other videos. I write the things I wanna do in that day and I tick it off as I go. I feel like I've achieved so much. Time is so short. And one of the greatest lies that um, people um, tell themselves is that they have time. We don't have time, we have hardly any time on this earth, so utilise every day and every hour that you get. So sleeping early will help you get up early and start your day well. Again, my ninth tip is related to my last one, so utilise your time wisely. Like I said, we do not have that much time. Um, everyone's got the same 24 hours. You've got the same 24 hours as Bill Gates. Imagine the amount of things he does in his time. So utilize your time effectively. Plan out your day. Say what you want to do at 9 a.m., 10 a.m., 10 a.m., 12 a.m., um, 12 p.m. Write out the things you want to do and do them. You can achieve so much, so much in a day if you actually plan it, if you actually utilize it. 
But if you don't, if you procrastinate, guess what? You've wasted a day and you can never get it back. You can always make back a lot of money, but time is the only thing on this earth we cannot get back. No matter how much we try, no matter how much we spend, we can never get back time. So utilise it. It's the most important thing you have. My last tip, but not least, is put God first. That is my most important tip. If you don't take anything from this video, put God first. I'm saved, I'm a Christian, and I believe that God is the most important thing in my life, and he truly aids me in all of the things that I just said above. You know, if it's waking up early, he reminds me that I need to go to bed early. He reminds me to um, exercise, to eat healthy. He reminds me to stop procrastinating, because at the end of the day, he's the one that has given me the time on this earth. So it's his really. So he reminds me to be who I need to be. In order for me to be great, God has honestly aided me in all of those things, in the way I think, in the way I act, just in every aspect of my life, he's there and he helps me to um, do everything I need to do. So my advice is putting God first. If you are someone who's a Christian, but you haven't been taking your relationship with God seriously, I would advise you to start now. So this, the scripture is, seek the kingdom of God first and his righteousness and all these things shall be added onto you. That means everything else, if it's wealth, if it's money, if it's jobs, if you're looking for everything else god will add it to you if you seek him first so seek God. it thank you guys those are my final tips for you to start 2018 well and to also end it well i hope you liked it please comment like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys